going on, Thrallers? Miller here. Uh, got a special Miller's Vinyl thoughts for you. I was curious about this subscription services. I know I know, see Nick do the metal boxing stuff. There's not too much for the vinyl. I think the Metalhead box started a vinyl thing. But this company right here was the one that usually came up. Um, and apologies, it was an unboxing. But the last time I did it, someone forgot to turn on the goddamn microphone. So, we're going to do this again. It's already open, but uh, I'll uh, show you what's in here. Because I was pretty impressed with it, actually. I was kind of curious, like I said, to see if it was worth it for a metal head. Because typically, I see the videos on this, it's like Instagram models. And half of them don't even have a f***ing record player. And they send them these, these boxes of vinyls to, to get hits on their... Because they're, you know, they have a million followers on Instagram. But they're sending it to people that don't know what the hell they're talking about. They don't even have a record player. And half of them, when they do, it's like that Victrola or Crosby piece of shit that's going to destroy the vinyls anyway. So I, my, my expectations for this were about as low as they could possibly get. But uh, I was curious, and, and I thought it would make a cool video um, to you guys could see if this service would be worth it. Now in this service you have options. You have um, what they call vibes. So you would select these vibes. Some of them are quirky sounding. A lot of it sounds like indie, hippie rock, stuff that I'm probably not into. So this month's vibes are Choir Boy, Dirty Art Club, Emmett Ka, Sad Penny, Tensi. Whatever the f*** all that means. But I chose the one that's curated. Curated means they go off of what um, your ideas and what you selected in here. Um, so I will go to my profile and they also um, link to your Discogs and your Spotify. Now I didn't use Spotify but because of this I got on Spotify. I liked a bunch of artists and whatnot. Um, just uh, to give you a few Examples of some of the artists I got on here because I don't use Spotify normally. I'm a Google um, Google YouTube music or whatever the hell they're calling it now um, So on here I went through and let's see the artists that I some of them acid bath black label black Sabbath cannibal corpse carcass clutch COC crowbar Fu Manchu Gojira Megadeth Meshuga Nine Inch Nails Ozzy Pantera pissing razors Rage Against the Machine, Red Fang, Sepultura, Slayer, Slipknot, Smashing Pumpkin, Suffocation, Testament Tool, White Zombie, so on and so forth. So I went in, I did listen to and I did like songs and whatnot. I wanted to give this an honest shot on giving me something that I would actually listen to and wouldn't just immediately resell to Discogs or, or take it into my local store. Um, now, as a backup to this, you can choose your music preferences. It's like a questionnaire that they ask you. There's uh, some things here, I don't know if you can see it on the overhead, but uh, what traditional genres are you inter interested in? It, it just shows a, a bunch of different genres, alternative blues, classical, country dance, electronica, so on and so forth. So you have to pick a minimum of three. I chose metal, punk, and rock. Those are the three out of these that I was interested in. You know, I'm into other stuff, uh, hip hop and, and some, uh, some other stuff, but it says list your favorite artists. Again, Pantera, Nine Inch Nails, Crowbar, COC, Queens of Stone Age, Megadeth, Scissor Fight, so on and so forth. Next question, what music artist genre should not be in your vinyl shipment? It said R&B, pop, country. If there's a Hate Breed or Limp Biscuit album, I'll light the whole box on fire. Please do not send Hate Breed or Limp Biscuit. No disturbed either. Uh, been diving his work. Are you on the lookout for any specific album? Unicorn record. Trying to flesh out your collection? We'll keep an eye out for you. So on that, I put Pop Will Eat Itself, Dos Dedos Mi Amigos, and Meshuggah Obzen, both of which are impossible to find. I mean, not impossible, but you're paying hundreds of dollars for them. So, I gave this an honest shot. And let's open this thing up again. So this is a cool thing. They give you a, a handwritten note here from Cervante. Cervante, he did a pretty good job of picking this out. Hey Josh, welcome to your first box. I've got you the first release in over 20 years from pioneering band The Obsessed, titled Sacred, and that is this album right here, which I was super pumped about. This is a good album. 
Um, I, I, I know this band. Obviously, I'm into like stoner rock. So, um, and this is a really cool blood red vinyl version of it. Um, yeah, I already went through this. I already put it into archive sleeves and stuff. It was not in anything like that. But I wanted to open this up because it is a really cool red pressing. Um, and yeah, if you like uh, Corrosion of Conformity Wise Blood, if you like that album, you'll love this album. Uh, the Obsessed is, is very on point with COC, uh, much like he, uh, he said here in the handwritten note. Um, he said, I feel like you'll dig this one since you're into Corrosion and Conformity. And in his note, next, Doom Metal from the Pacific Northwest by way of Nightfell. Um, this is Nightfell. I uh, wasn't overly familiar with these guys, to be honest with you, but uh, after listening, I was pretty impressed with the record, and it's definitely right at my alley. It's a Doom, doom Metal, uh, straightforward. Uh, pretty basic pressing, nothing crazy about these, and I don't expect there to be anything spectacular about any of these vinyls that they're sending me through this subscription thing, um, because, you know, they trying to keep cost and their profit margins and all that other crap, so um, the subscription service is normally about 40 bucks. Usually you can find deals, especially around this time. Um, of the year because of the holidays where they'll do I do recall there being some sort of like half off deal of some sort um, I'll link it in the uh, description there if I do find it but I, I will link to the vinyl because um, like I said I am I'm pretty impressed with what they sent me um, let's see the next uh, last up is some harsh crust core now I didn't know what the f core meant but whatever uh, from Sweden's Martyrdod this is the 2014 L drop, and this is okay. It's not bad. Um, it's again, I still don't know what the f rust core means, um, but it, it, metal is like, or music in general is getting to the point where it's like all these sub genres that mean absolutely nothing. I don't know. It's annoying. All the sub categories of shit is getting annoying. Thrash, speed, death, black. You know, you can fit if you don't fit into those like six categories, then then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All these subcategories are getting annoying, and then you, you you meet people and they're like, oh, this is like you know pizza core. Well, what the fuck is pizza core? Well, it's like it's 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 like it's like raw and it's a little greasy. What the fuck does that mean in music? Is it hardcore? Is it punk? What is it? Crust core. Stupid. Stupid explanation. That's not Cervante. That's that's music in general is getting to that point of ridiculousness. Yeah, everything fits in here pretty nicely. Um, and I'm, so these albums total. Let's say if this, this is forty bucks, I didn't pay forty bucks for this. Um, the albums, you know, they they kind of promote stuff. You know, LT. Everything is fine. Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they threw that in. I was kind of worried when I first opened this and I saw this LT thing. I'm like, yeah, this isn't, uh, that, like, this picture doesn't strike me particularly metal. <laughs> so, I was like, great, what the hell am I going to get in this thing? Just like hauling oats and shit. Luckily, I got some pretty sweet vinyls. Like I said, the, the value of these vinyls are about on point with what this costs. So, if you like random vinyls coming to you and you don't really know what the hell they are, and you kind of like that aspect of it, it's, it's really cool. I, I kind of dig it, um, especially because I got some pr pretty cool albums. There's only that Martyr Dodd that I didn't particularly care for, but it wasn't bad. Um, yeah, nice shipping, nice shipping, nice boxing, everything came, uh, nothing was wrong with any of this stuff. Um, so yeah, it's so far so good, part one is a, is a plus, it's a thumbs up, um, good stuff, I like the handwritten note, I, had, I, I kinda dug that. So yeah, there'll be a link in the description below for this, and I have two more parts to this, so we'll see if they continue on this trend of sending, like, cool shit, but, um... My, like I said, my expectations are pretty low for this. So, if you want to see part two and part three of Is Vinyl Subscription Worth It for Metalheads, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications that'll let you know when I'm doing this, and, and also when we put out other videos. We put out stuff 
daily, and, and we're probably going to have to get to the point where we're going to be doing multiple videos a day, even. Um, we're just cranking stuff out. we got a lot of stuff to go through. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you done this, or are you planning on doing it? Did you have any questions about the process at all? I'll, I'll get on there and answer whatever. Um, just let me know in the comments. And until next time.